Hi, my name's Carol Baskin. I came up from London to make my life in Stoke-on-Trent. We bought several properties, which we were very pleased with, and then unfortunately COVID hit, and we decided that we should get rid of the properties. Um, our last property uh, was sold on, November, on October the 2nd. So we're very pleased we haven't got any properties anymore. But because of the Labour government's policy, it's not a good idea. Yeah. I sold them because we had a lot, unlike London, where everybody seems to lease their properties and they think about them as their own properties and they look after them. All but one of our ten tenants absolutely destroyed the properties. I wouldn't even begin to explain what they did to these properties. There was no respect at all. I mean, I was very good when I'm, they moved in. The place was beautifully decorated, clean, new carpets and everything. And I left them a little card, welcome to your new home, a little tiny bottle of champagne and um, a little box of chocolates. But they didn't respect us at all. And they just literally ruined the places. So in the end, we thought, you know, the uh, mortgages were rising, rising, rising. And because of COVID, nobody was paying their rent. And then they bought in the new property out that you couldn't get rid of tenants as easily as you could before. So we decided, we took a business decision that enough was enough. And we decided that we would phone Springbok and get rid of the properties bit by bit. I was on my computer one morning <laughs> and my computer unfortunately has got lots of adverts this time it was good but normally it annoys me I suddenly saw an advert for Springbok properties saying that they could sell any house quickly so I thought they would be the right people to contact so I contacted James and Mark initially and after uh, the first uh, viewings they put me with Tarek who finished off selling the property I found Springbok extremely help, helpful, especially Tarek. In fact, at the end, when I was in a minor situation with my mortgage, he offered to cut his commission so that I didn't lose any money when we did the sale, which I thought was very fair of him. And he did try. He tried very hard to get that horse past the post. And eventually, on the 2nd of October, it happened. And we all cracked a bottle of champagne and said, Hallelujah. I would definitely recommend Springbok because although there were difficulties they tried like mad they kept at it they phoned them up every day and it wasn't their fault that the other solicitors didn't respond so I would say if anyone wants to sell a property especially a tenanted one they should go to Springbok and hopefully they will be able to sell it within a reasonable amount of time with the money they want.